Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, we're going to be covering a topic where we're going to be disabling extra things within our computer that we don't really use and are just probably going to cause latency if you keep them enabled. So make sure whenever you do this, you have everything that you possibly use on your computer on a daily basis, either plugged in or connected. Just do that real quickly, just so you make sure that whenever you're disabling things within this video, you don't disable things that you're probably going to use in the future so make sure if you're going to use something in the future plug it in right now connect it now do whatever you want to basically make sure that whatever you disable right now won't affect you in the future so once you've basically plugged in everything that you need slash connect to everything that you are going to need you're going to basically open up your start menu and all we're going to do is type device manager and open up the first one and then what we're going to do is we're going to disable extra devices in device manager that have no purpose for gaming or they are just empty and don't do anything for our computer so easiest way to do this is we're gonna click view at the top of device manager click devices by connection and then we're gonna scroll down and this might look completely completely different for you but there's gonna be a lot of devices that you can disable that are very very similar so the first one is gonna be high precision event timer just disable it in here this does not actually disable this device through device manager if you want to actually disable it you have to run a B CD edit command which I won't be covering in this video but we're just doing this just so it's out of the way and we're basically gonna ignore it then we're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna expand everything you possibly could just so you see what's connected to it so for example PCI to PCI bridge there's nothing connected to this one right above this one so I could disable this one and it won't affect anything. But if I disable this one, it's going to disable my Ethernet. So I'm not going to disable this one. I'm going to leave this one alone. But I'm going to disable the one without an arrow to the left of it. So I could disable this one. I could keep scrolling down. And then my this SATA controller is using something. It's connected to something. So I'm not going to disable it. I'm going to expand PCI to pr PCI bridge one more time. If you don't use your monitors audio or your audio jacks or the monitor speakers you could disable high definition audio controller the one that's right above your graphics card so yeah i'm gonna disable it and then pci to pci bridge all that's connected to this is pci device which is useless it doesn't really matter this is just like a that i don't have any drivers installed to it so i could disable this because I'm not using this device, obviously. I'm gonna expand this USB controller. There's stuff connected to this, so I'm not gonna disable it. If you have USB controllers that have nothing connected to it, and you've connected basically everything possible that you possibly use, then you can disable those USB controllers and you don't need to use them anymore. But before you do that, if you are on AMD, if you are on AMD, you need to make sure you follow my best USB ports video. And all you have to do is look at the thumbnail that I'm about to pop up right here follow that video to make sure you're on CPU USB ports. If you don't do that, then you might be still connected to the chipset USB controller, which might be a little bit slower. So make sure you follow that if you are on AMD. If you're on Intel, just make sure you're connected your devices to the Intel host controller, which is super basic and super simple. But yeah, and these PCI to device and PCI encryption controller, I can disable these because these do nothing and they don't have any drivers. So I'm gonna expand this one and there's an SSD connected to this one. So there, I'm not gonna disable this because I use this. SM bus controller, I could disable this. Unknown device, I'm gonna disable it. Now at the very bottom, there's gonna be some of these devices and it really depends on this list right here, what we're gonna disable. So make sure you disable these. All right, so the first one's gonna be composite bust enumerator. You could disable this. And the second one's gonna be, if you have Intel management or AMD PSP within this list, you could disable that, but you have to make sure you have those in the first place. I'm on a custom OS, so a lot of drivers that are unneeded are not gonna be installed on here. And if you wanna cop this custom OS and basically get lower input lag, better FPS in general, just because you're about to get an optimization service that includes this custom OS, head over to the link in the description and book one of my services and and I'll hook you up with the custom OS on the advanced or the ultimate, depending on which one you choose. The complete PC session, however, does not include this OS. So pick wisely. I'm gonna move on to Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth. I'm not gonna have this one. If you have that one, disable it. And then we're gonna disable Microsoft Virtual Network Adapter Enumerator. And then we're gonna disable NDIS Virtual Network Adapter Enumerator. And then we're gonna disable Remote Desktop Device for Director Bus. And then we could scroll up. And then under PCI Standard ISA Bridge, you might have something called System Speaker. You could disable that. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down and disable UM Bus Root Bus Enumerator. And then NVIDIA Virtual 
virtual audio device, we can also disable that. So that's pretty much it for disabling stuff within Device Manager. Now, if you want, you could go through your SSDs in Device Manager, double click on them, go to Policies, and make sure to turn off Windows Write Cache Buffer Flushing on the device is checked, then press OK. And you can do this for all your SSDs or drives. Now, we're basically gonna go through all the devices within Device Manager and make sure power saving is turned off. So the first one's gonna be our USB controller, and you might have one that's called completely different, but it's gonna have this same icon. So just double click on it, go to power management, make sure these two are unchecked, and then do the same thing for USB root hub, make sure these are two unchecked. And then wireless adapters, you can do the same thing, and then look at your USB input devices and make sure everything here is unchecked. And then you can do this for your ethernet as well make sure everything here is unchecked then you scroll down do the same thing for other usb controllers and other usb devices just go through all of them and make sure that everything here under power management is unchecked and that's pretty much it for optimizing device manager again there is way more you could disable but disabling way more is just not going to benefit you and it's going to cause issues with running certain programs or running just things in general so again as i said before please do this whenever you have everything connected that you possibly use or basically have things plugged straight into the pc that you possibly use in the future or keep in mind what you use so in the future you could re-enable it if you need to so if you use bluetooth or wi-fi don't disable those but if if you don't use those you can disable bluetooth adapters and wi-fi adapters if possible but again this depends on your specs this also depends on what you have in this list and if you're on a custom os or not but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you like this comment down below like this video and subscribe and if you want a full pc built for you optimized for you tested for you completely all the way from testing the cpu until testing the gpu and power supply head over to the link in the description under my booking site and you can order a pc directly from me where i build it for you and do all the rest of the things that i mentioned earlier and then directly ship it to your house and all you have to do is literally just install your games and start gaming and you'll notice just smoothness right away no hiccups no issues no blue screens just pure performance and every part within that pc is a hundred 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 percent high quality parts but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one peace out